Hi, everybody, and welcome to New Jersey ACAC and StriveScan's Virtual College Exploration Week for New Jersey students. Your cameras and microphones are off. You are muted. Your video is off. The panelists can't see or hear you, but hopefully you can see and hear them. If you need to ask questions, you'll have the Q&A button to type your questions, which the presenters will see and can answer at any time. This is one of many sessions this week. We've got them running all the way to Friday. So make sure you check out the schedule and check out other sessions. The sessions that were available last week are recorded. This session is being recorded. So if you miss something, make sure you check it out. If you have a friend who wants to know about the University of Sciences, you can send them to this one. And with that, I am going to pop out of the room and leave you in good hands. Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining. My name is Christine and I'm an undergraduate admission counselor here at University of the Sciences. And I have a short admission presentation for all of you. And as our host did mention, if you have any questions at any point during my admissions presentation, please feel free to use the Q&A session. And our admission counselor, Sarah, is behind the scenes and she'll be able to answer those questions for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen so we can get started on our mission presentation. All right, so welcome. And thank you for you know, stopping by and learning a little bit more about University of the Sciences. So if you are interested in University of the Sciences, I'm assuming you're interested in sciences or one of our healthcare related programs here at U Sciences. So here at U Sciences, you're not gonna find your history majors or your English programs here at U Sciences. We focus strictly on the sciences and healthcare programs. We've been around for quite some time. We've actually been around since 1821. And some of uh, your family members might know us as the Philadelphia College of Pharmacy. And that was our former name. And we were the first pharmacy school in North America. So that really is our bread and butter. That is what we've focused on for so many years. Um, but 1821, this upcoming February, we're gonna be celebrating our bicentennial event. So if you're a senior and you're applying to sciences and you're accepted, you not only get to celebrate your acceptance, but you also get to celebrate our birthday with us. So here's the full list of our undergraduate programs here at University of the Sciences. These are our four-year degree programs. This is where you'll be able to earn your bachelor's degree. When you are applying to University of the Sciences, you will need to indicate the major that you are interested in studying on your application. So make sure you put down your first choice major on your app. Something else you might notice on this full list is that we have a lot of programs that have a pre-health preparation track already built into the program. And so what we mean by pre-health here at U Sciences is pre-dental, pre-medicine, pre-optometry, and pre-veterinary. So these aren't majors, but these are specialization tracks that you can add to your program once you're a U Sciences student. And you won't be alone in this process when you're thinking about going on a medical school and dental school. We have two full-time faculty members that are gonna be helping you, making sure you're taking all the right classes. They'll be tracking your activities. They'll help you with mock interviews. They'll help you with putting your resume together and even applying, applying to that medical school after graduation. But adding the specialization track to your program, uh, just make sure that you have all the classes that you would need to go on to that next professional school. So again, these aren't majors, but these are specialization tracks that you can add to your program. And you can also indicate your interest on your application as well. In addition to our bachelor degree programs, we also have a few professional programs here at U-Sciences. So I mentioned we have that pharmacy program and we still have that today. But in addition to the pharmacy program, we also have an occupational therapy program, physical therapy, and our physician assistant studies program. The first three programs, pharmacy, OT, and PT, they are our direct entry programs. So that means high school students can apply to these programs. And if accepted, they're accepted for the full length of the program, which is a total of six years, and students will earn their doctorate. If you are accepted, you're accepted again for the full length of the program. And just as long as you keep up with progression standards, you move right on through to that graduate portion of the program. And you'll do everything here at U Sciences. For the Physician Assistant Studies program, that works just a little bit differently because it's not a direct entry program. However, we do have the undergraduate and graduate portion here at U Sciences. 
So if you're interested in the Physician Assistant Studies Program, you can indicate PA on your application. And again, then you would have to reapply to the graduate portion, and you can do so at University of Sciences or Salis University. And students can complete the PA program at U-Sciences in as little as five years, and they'll earn their master's degree at the end. Some other academic opportunities on campus include our partnership with University of the Arts and then our honors program. So we are the science school here in Philadelphia, but we do have an art school here in Philadelphia. So if you feel like you're missing some of those arts uh, classes like dance and painting and music and things along those lines, you can take a couple of courses at University of the Arts for no additional cost. And those courses will count as your electives and humanities courses at University of the Sciences. We also have the honors program here at University of the Sciences, and our honors students will participate in honors courses, research, travel study, and community service. And when you are applying to U Sciences, we will automatically consider you for the honors program as well. So you don't have to worry about reapplying or second application or anything like that. We will automatically consider you for the program. When it comes to the honors program, we do like to see students with higher test scores and GPAs. Um, but what we really want to see is some type of leadership role within the activities that you participate, whether that's inside the classroom or outside the classroom. So if you're working part time and you're taking AP courses and maybe you're president of a club or maybe you started a club, those are things we like to see. So make sure you indicate that on your application. And that's a good tip for anyone applying to any university. Don't leave any section blank on the application. I know the admission counselors, including myself, we really want to get to know you. So make sure you're filling out all those sections. Another big part um, about University of the Sciences is our opportunity to participate in undergraduate research. So we encourage students to get involved. And for us, research is open to all academic disciplines. So if you're a biology student and you want to do some research in the chemistry department, you're more than welcome to do so. We want our students to be hands on and experience different things. We have over 100 labs here on campus and freshmen can start research as early as their second semester. Some of our students have been paid for their research, have been published, have presented at large conferences. So there's a lot of wonderful opportunities that come into our undergraduate research. And of course, it looks great on a resume as well. All right, campus life. So I know most of the students that are in the session today, you're probably coming from somewhere in New Jersey. Um, so you might've heard of us before and we're not too far away um, for most of the students that live right over the ridge in South Jersey. We're right here in your backyard in Philadelphia, but specifically where we're located is in University City area. So there's a couple other colleges and a lot of college students in our area. So I'm not gonna go into all the things you can do in Philadelphia, because I'm sure you guys are well aware of what's going on in Philadelphia. But the one thing that I do wanna make note of is if you're thinking about going into a career in the STEM and the sciences, especially healthcare, Philadelphia is a wonderful place to be. There's over 100 hospitals, seven medical schools, over 800 core life science companies. So that's gonna allow our students to get some really good shadowing experiences and internships and even finding that career after graduation. And then stepping foot on campus, there's of course plenty of things to do as well. We have over 70 clubs and organizations here on campus. They'll range from Greek life, volunteer groups, student government, and honestly, there's probably some similar clubs that you have in high school that are gonna be here at University of Sciences as well. And we're always creating new clubs too. And if we don't have something on the list, you can always create your own. In recent years, we've had a women in science club uh, get started, a video games development get started, and then just recently a Pokemon Go club as well. So there's always something new. We also have intramural and club sports as well, and they vary from season to season, semester to semester. But if you are interested in competing at University of the Sciences, uh, we are Division II. We compete in the Central Atlantic Collegiate Conference. And because we're Division II, we do have athletic grants available. So if you're a student athlete and you're thinking about competing here at U Sciences, I would go to our athletic page so you can fill out your inquiry form. And that way, our coaches can reach out to you and talk about playing here for University of Sciences and again, those athletic grants. All right, campus housing. So in the next slide, I'll talk a little bit more about where you'll exactly be living, but just some general information about campus housing. About 84% of our first year students do reside here on campus. 
and campus housing is guaranteed for the first two years. After the first two years, most of our students will move into the Philadelphia area. I actually have two cousins that attend University of the Sciences, and my one cousin lives across the street from the new residence hall. So they don't go too far from campus, but if students really wanna stay on campus after the first two years, they can work with our residence life team and it'll be a lottery system at that point. If you're coming within 30 miles of campus though, you do have the option to commute to campus. And if you're not quite sure if you're within 30 miles or maybe you're right there on the borderline, you can always reach out to an admission counselor and we can talk about the different options you have when it comes to campus housing. All right, so this is the brand new Living and Learning Commons. This is where most of our freshman students do live. And I would like to talk a little bit about COVID real quick and how it's impacted our campus. Um, so currently we're in a hybrid model. So some of our larger lecture halls, they are taught virtually. And then our smaller classes, including our labs, they are in person. So we do have students on campus. We do have students living in the Living and Learning Commons right now. Um, we do refer to it as the LLC for short. So if I abbreviate it, that's what I'm referring to. But it is a beautiful building. It, it homes uh, 400 students. It has classroom space and study space. You can see in the pictures below. But the one thing that I know most of our students do enjoy and they really like is that it's a double room. So you and your roommate will be sharing your room. And then you have your own private bathroom that you'll be sharing as well. So the LLC has private bathrooms. It's super nice. And as I mentioned, it's a relatively new building. It's about two years old. All right, so I'm gonna switch gears and talk a little bit about investing in your education. But specifically, what I wanna to talk to you all about is tuition and fees. And so here at USciences, we don't mind talking about tuition and fees. Um, and that's because we have a frozen tuition schedule. So here at USciences, our students will not pay more than 27,500 in tuition and general fees per year for their undergraduate and for their pre-professional years. So I do have that chart listed below. So if you're interested in one of our bachelor's degree programs, you'll follow that first line and you can see that your program is listed out all four years at 27,500. If you're interested in one of our professional program, you can see exactly where those pre-professional years sit. But basically what this is saying is that no matter what program you decide to come here at University of Sciences, you'll be able to calculate what it's gonna cost you to earn your degree at University of the Sciences. We've done something for you as well in those professional years. So you're locked in at those numbers as well. Again, you're gonna be able to calculate exactly what it's gonna cost you to earn your degree at U Sciences. And this is a big deal because most schools only talk to you about the freshman year, the year one. And typically a lot of schools increase their tuition anywhere from three to 7%. So really what happens is that most universities tack on thousands of dollars without you even realizing it. So with our fixed and transparent schedule, we wanna be upfront and let you guys calculate exactly what you're gonna be needing to plan for your education. So because of that, University of Science is because one of the most affordable schools in the region. Of course, we wanna help you lower the cost of your education and we can do so with our scholarships and grants. So we do have a few on the screen right there but I do wanna point out the first one, which is our merit-based scholarship. So when you apply to University of the Sciences, we will consider you for the merit-based scholarship. If you are accepted, and if you qualify for a merit-based scholarship, that information will be in your acceptance packet, so you'll know right away if you received a merit-based scholarship. In addition to our scholarships and grants, we always encourage students and families to fill out the free application for federal student aid, also known as a FEFSA, it is a free application, and to those seniors sitting in the audience today, the application is open up so you can start filling that out with your family members or parents or whoever's at home with you. So once you fill out this application, your information will be sent over to our financial aid office, and they will put together a packet for you, and they'll mail it out, and they'll show you exactly what you qualified for. And you could potentially qualify for other scholarships, grants, and loans. So potentially additional free money. So definitely fill that out. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the missions process, which is, I'm sure you all wanted to know about and attend this session for. So first things first, how can you apply to use sciences? And you can apply on the Common App. That's actually the only application that we have. And there's two things to take away from our application. One, it's free to apply, so it can't hurt to apply. And two, that we're also rolling in missions. So we don't have a deadline to apply. 
I know some schools have that November 1st or November 15th, but since we're rolling, you do not have a deadline to apply. All right, so there's a couple of things that we're gonna need in addition to your common application. But the first thing I wanna point out, and you'll see there in yellow, and I'm sure you have all questions about, is the SAT and ACT test scores. So for my seniors applying this year, we are going test optional for all majors in all programs. So you do not need to submit your SAT or ACT test scores. If you have taken your SAT or ACT test scores and you would like to submit them, you are more than welcome to do so. By submitting your SAT or ACT test scores, it can only help your application, it won't hurt your application. But again, for my seniors applying to sciences this year, we're going test optional for all majors and all programs. In addition to the SAT and ACT test scores, we're gonna be looking for your official high school transcript. And on your high school transcript, we're gonna be looking at your coursework, GPA, and rank if your school provides it. I'll go into a little bit more about that coursework in just a second. We're gonna be looking for a letter of recommendation. We need just one letter, but you can submit up to two additional letters, so that's a total of three. And just a little tip, we do like to see letters from your math or science teacher. So if you haven't asked anyone yet, I would reach out to your math or science teachers. And then the last thing that we're gonna be looking for is the essay. And the essay is tied into the common application. So we're not looking for an additional essay. Once you complete the common app and that essay, that's the one that we're gonna be reading. All right, so let's talk a little bit about that high school transcript and specifically the coursework that we're gonna be looking for. So for us, we're specifically gonna be looking at your math and science classes. For your math classes, we want to see Algebra 1, Algebra 2, and Geometry. But if you're in a more advanced sequence, that's great. We want to see students challenge themselves, maybe move up from an honors to an AP. We want to see students take math and science classes all the way up to their senior years as well. The science courses, the number of courses that we're looking for, it does depend um, based on the major that you're applying to. So if you're interested in applying to a bachelor's degree program, you want to see two years of science with a lab. And if you're interested in applying to our professional programs, you want to see three years of science with a lab. And traditionally what we see is biology, chemistry, physics, anatomy and physiology, maybe environmental sciences. One question I do get pretty frequently is if a student takes biology and then they take AP bio, for example, does that count as one or two classes? And for us, that will count as two classes. But if you have any questions about the coursework that you're taking, taking in high school right now, you can always reach out to an admissions team member. All right, so let's go over a little bit of the admissions timeline. So if you're a senior and you're in the session right now, just know that the application is opened up so you can apply today. If you're a junior sitting in the audience, you'll be able to apply August 1st, 2021. And again, we are rolling admissions, so we do not have a deadline to apply. But I encourage you to apply sooner rather than later. But we will start reviewing applications at the end of October, so the end of this month, and the beginning of November. For us, it typically takes about two weeks to a month to hear back from us. And we are pretty old school. We'll submit all of our mission decisions through the mail, so don't forget to check your mailbox. And then the one deadline you do want to be aware of is that priority decision deadline, which is May 1st. And that's basically the day you want to commit to your sciences or to another school. But you can commit to a school earlier if you wanted to. And if you are deciding to attend University of the Sciences, in the summer months before you attend that fall, we're gonna be asking for your final high school transcript. And that's not to check up on you as your senior year grades to see if you got senioritis, it's just to make sure that you did in fact graduate high school. All right, so my admissions team members and myself, we got together and we wanted to put some helpful tips for you when you're applying to U Sciences and to other universities as well. And the first one being narrow down the schools that you want to apply to. If you don't see yourself truly going to that school, take it off your list because applying to a bunch of schools can be time consuming and it can cost a pretty penny as well. I know some schools charge like $50 to $75 so it can cost a little bit to apply to a whole bunch of schools. But again, just a reminder here at U-Sciences, it is free to apply. I always encourage students to apply early and file their FAFSA early. So that way you can hear back and know exactly if you've been accepted and see what you qualify for. So that way you can start planning 
your education, seeing exactly where you can go, maybe what can, you can afford. I did hint to it earlier that we do recommend asking a math or science teacher for a recommendation letter. And that's mostly because they can speak to the subjects that you'll be taking here at U Sciences. And those last two bullet points, um, just reach out to your mission counselor. So we're gonna be the go-to person throughout this whole application process. So if you have any questions along the way, you can always reach out to myself or to your mission counselor. All right, so why U Sciences? So we're wrapping up here at the end of the presentation. Just wanna explain a little bit why I think U Sciences would be a great fit for you. Again, with that proven value, so just a reminder, we have that frozen tuition schedule here at U Sciences. So you don't have to worry about any surprises or increases along the way. You could really print out that tuition schedule and put it on your refrigerator and you know exactly what's expected of you every year that you attend U Sciences. Great location, a proven location as well. Just a recent stat that I heard recently too is that one in six doctors are actually trained in the city of Philadelphia. So Philadelphia is truly a healthcare hub. It's a great place to be. There's over 100 hospitals, seven medical schools, over 800 core life science companies, and within two hours as well, many of the leading pharmaceutical firms as well. And it's right here in our backyard. Proven in the classroom, we have a seven to one student faculty ratio. So that's gonna allow our students to really get to know our faculty members and vice versa. And one thing to note too is that all of our courses are taught by faculty and not graduate assistants. Proven in the lab, we have over 100 labs here on campus. And again, we encourage our students to participate in research and they can do so starting their freshman year, their second semester. And we are preparing our students to become pharmacists, physical therapists, occupational therapists. And we're also preparing our students to become dentists, physicians, veterinarian and physician assistants, which are all included in the best healthcare jobs in the US. New Sciences, we're ranked number one in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Delaware, and top 10 in the nation for return on investment 40 years after enrollment among private four-year institutions. And so basically what that's saying is what you'll be investing in your education, you will be earning back and more. And that's because we are, our students are working hard in the classroom, they're being molded in the labs, so that when it comes time for them to leave and graduate U Sciences, they are gonna be ready for their careers. So one phrase you might hear often on our campus is the phrase proven everywhere they go. So hopefully soon you'll be able to join our campus and you'll be proven everywhere you go as well. So I would like to introduce you to the rest of the admissions team. Myself, as I mentioned, I do recruit students, high school students that live in South Jersey. So if you're coming from those areas, you'll be working with me um, but some of the other mission counselors, they work in different parts of Jersey Central and North. So if you're living in those areas, I encourage you to go to our website and type a mission counselor so you can see exactly who you're gonna be working with. You can email us, you can call us, or you can even text us. And you can just text us with you know, an application status update or if you just wanna make sure your materials have been received. Uh, again, we're gonna be your go-to person throughout this whole entire process. So before we get to some of your questions, I know uh, Sarah's behind the scene answering some of them if you have any questions. I actually would like to introduce two of our students, uh, current students, so they can explain a little bit about what they're doing here at Youth Sciences and why they chose Youth Sciences. So I'm gonna turn it over to Sabrina so she can talk to you a little bit about her time here at Youth Sciences. Hi, I'm Sabrina. Um, I'm from Burlington, New Jersey. I am a U2 biomedical sciences major on a pre-med track. Um, I am part of the Women's Track and Field Program, and I'm also a member of the Pre-Med Club. I, in addition to being a student ambassador, so basically we give tours and stuff like that, I also work as a Writing Center tutor and a CFHS TA, which is an awesome undergrad program for freshmen. I ultimately chose U Sciences because it's such a small school, so I felt like I would get the personalized attention that I need. Um, the, like, the quality of the education is amazing, and with such science-focused classes, I knew I'd be prepared for med school. Um, just overall, I knew that U Sciences would be the best place to prepare me academically for my future career. Awesome. Thank you, Sabrina. And I'll turn it over to Debbie. Hi guys, I'm Debbie. I'm from Cherry Hill. Um, I'm a U1 student for occupational therapy. 
and I'm a part of the Honor Student Association. I'm the first year rep. I'm also a part of Career the Christian Ministry here on campus. Um, and I'm also a student ambassador, like Sabrina. And like Sabrina said, the reason why I chose UCI was really because it's such a small community. And not only does it allow us to have like connections with our professors, but also with um, everyone around us, like our friends. Um, the, the community here is very tight knit. And when I toured the campus for the first time, I like loved how my tour guide knew everyone. We like walked fast and that was super important for me. And I just love where we are located as well. Philadelphia is a great city and a great place to spend your college years. Awesome, thank you, Debbie. So I would like to ask you guys just a couple questions. I'm gonna put it back to our page so that way you guys can have our contact information if you want to reach out to us. Um, but for Sabrina and Debbie, um, most, mostly to Debbie right now, because I can see that you're on campus. Um, can you talk a little bit about living on campus and what's going on right now? Um, are you enjoying the living and learning comments? Yeah, for sure. So I'm wearing a mask because I'm obviously on campus um, and we are required to wear them everywhere. Um, but I will say that COVID hasn't really taken away from the experience all that much. Um, our RAs and our teachers are doing a great job to make sure that we are still involved. Um, there are still events going on, even though mostly are virtual, we still do have that sense of community. And the LLC is a great building to live in. Um, even though we are wearing masks, we still get to like bake in the kitchen and hang out in the common rooms and all that stuff. So like we really do still get the experience even though we do have to like socially distance and wear masks. So we are safe, we're also having fun. Awesome, and then just another question about applying and things like along those lines, because Debbie, you are a freshman and Sabrina, you're a second year student, so you're not too far into the process, but um, can you talk a little bit just about applying and what you went through and what your experience was and any tips you might have? Um, yeah, so when I chose um, schools to apply to, I actually went in applying for PT originally, so there weren't I wanted a DPT program and not many schools offered that, but U, U Science is unique in the sense that it offers a lot of different science programs. And when I went in toward the school, like I really loved how like intimate the environment was and things like that. And I think U Science is really fit in my realm of like where I saw myself in my future. And I felt like we shared like common goals in terms of that sense. So that's why I chose to apply to U Sciences and why I ultimately ended up going here. Go ahead, Debbie, you can tell us about your experience as well. Okay, I was just gonna say that I think my experience with applying to USI was great. Um, it wasn't a complicated application. It wasn't like something I had to figure out because it was separate of the Common App. It was on the Common App, so it was really easy to navigate. And also my biggest tip I think is if you do have questions, reach out to your admissions counselors. I know that helped me a lot. Christine was actually my admissions counselor and I texted her so many times with so many questions. Um, and it really does help to have that connection and to just be able to reach out. And I also heard back really, really quick. So if you're someone that's worried about not hearing back, you'll hear back really quick. So that was great. Awesome, thank you. So I do have a question I see someone typed in and actually maybe Debbie and Sabrina, you could help answer this as well. Uh, the question is, are there opportunities to work jobs that pertain to our major during school? So just with your experience, um, and being a freshman or you two, um, you know, maybe you've heard some friends getting jobs in labs. So if you want to touch base on that, that'd be great. Um, yeah, so I talked prior about how I was a CFAGES TA, um, which is a freshman class that can replace your bio lab and it is involved in research. Um, it got me a publication my freshman year, which is really cool. And working as a CFAGES TA is technically a job. Um, I don't currently work in a research lab, but I am aware of people that do work in research labs and got involved very early into their second semester of their freshman year. So there are definitely opportunities to be involved within your major. Um, something that's also really cool is we are close to CHOP um, and the VA. So I know people that have gotten jobs as medical scribes and worked at CHOP and then just lived near campus and were able to work that way. So there are definitely plenty of opportunities around campus to get a job. And, within your related major. 
Yeah, so just echoing off of that, obviously I'm a first year, so I'm not really working in my major yet. Um, I just got here a month ago, but I do know people that are, even though I'm in the DOT program, so we are waiting for the professional years to get into more like heavy clinical stuff. You can work in the department starting pretty early, and I have a lot of friends that do. Um, so there are ways, there are ways to get involved in your department as soon as you get here, really. All right, so thanks, guys. Um, I do have some just additional information when it comes to the application. Um, a couple of questions I get pretty frequently is about AP courses. Um, so if you're taking the AP exam, what will happen? And so you can visit our website and take in AP courses. Um, you can see exactly what we've accepted in the past. For the most part, we're looking for scores of fours and fives. There are a couple of threes on that list, but for the most part, it's gonna be fours and fives. If you take AP Bio, for example, but you want to major in biology, we are going to be looking for a score of five. Um, so there's a couple of caveats to that too. And if you just scroll to the bottom, you can see exactly uh, what you might need for each program as well. In addition to the AP credits, another question I get a lot is dual enrollment courses. So if you're taking college credits um, at your high school level, uh, what will happen to those? And so we will review those courses for you and you can potentially opt out of some of your um, freshman year courses. So you can type into our search bar transfer credits and we have a nice little tool on our website where you can type in the community college or college that you're currently earning these courses and you can see exactly what courses we've accepted in the past. If you don't see a course on that list, it might mean that we won't accept the course, unfortunately, but it also might mean that we haven't had a student that's tried to bring that course over to use sciences before. So just know that we do accept them, but for the most part, we will start evaluating those courses once you decide that you um, are interested in attending University of the Sciences. Some other um, housekeeping information too, is that we, uh, since we are hybrid, uh, we do have some campus tours available uh, right now. So if you wanted to come check out campus, you're more than welcome to do so. You can visit our Visit Us page to sign up. Of course, we're following CDC guidelines and you will need to wear your mask like Debbie when you are on campus. Um, so if you're interested in coming in for a tour during the week, you can sign up. And then actually in the next week, we're going to have an open house as well. It'll be a smaller event, but it's going to have an admissions presentation at, followed by an academic session. So you can learn a little bit more about the program that you want to apply to. In addition to on campus events, we will also have virtual events as well. So if you don't feel as comfortable coming to campus quite yet, we will have virtual events. Some of the virtual events are more academic specific, but then some of them are also uh, application specific. So just recently, we had a um, essays webinar. So if you had questions about, you know, what we what we're looking for on the essay, or, you know, just tips and suggestions. Um, that was a whole webinar session. So again, we'll have some application specific webinars. So be sure to check out that on the website. And again, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to us. Uh, Debbie and Sabrina. Um, I, Debbie, I know you just got to campus, but Sabrina, I did see that you, um, you run track and field. So do you wanna to touch base a little bit on that as well for any student athletes out there? Um, sure. So a lot of my track and field has been slightly cut short because of COVID and everything going on. Um, but it is nice having another outlet um, and getting involved with athletics can be as easy as just sending in a recruitment form. So if that's something that you're interested in, I highly recommend getting in contact with a coach or anything of that nature, because I think athletics are very beneficial, but there's many ways to get involved on campus. Um, I think the most challenging part is like managing your time. And I think the courses here um, offered at U-Sciences are very challenging, but I think at the same time, there's also a lot of reward in terms of learning how to manage your time and being involved in other things than just what's going on in the classroom. And as challenging as everything is, I think there is a really good support system on campus between just being able to access your professors if you have questions or advisors and all that good stuff. So it is challenging, but it is rewarding at the same time. And there's plenty of people here to support you along the way. I did just see another question. Uh, the question is if we have a tennis team. And yes, we do have both men's and women's tennis teams. Um, in addition to the tennis teams, we do have um, volleyball for the ladies, golf for the men, 
We both have basketball for both men and women, uh, baseball and softball. So we do have a couple of sports here on campus. And again, we are division two. And if you are interested in competing here at U Sciences, you can go to our athletic page and fill out the inquiry form. And then that way our coaches can get in contact with you um, or our athletic director might also reach out as well. So fill that form out so we can get in contact with you. All right, do you guys have any other questions? Feel free to put them in the chat. We'd be more than happy to answer them. And if we don't have any other questions, I'm gonna ask Debbie and Sabrina just a couple more questions. Um, Debbie, I know that you're coming right over the bridge as well from New Jersey. Um, and you're also a freshman, I mentioned that as well. But uh, one question I get often is, you know, finding a roommate. So you're new here and you're not quite sure where to look or, you know, who to ask to live with you. So can you talk a little bit about that process and finding a roommate and how that looked like for you? Yeah, absolutely. So there are a few choices when it comes to that. Um, obviously, as it, with most schools, you can go random and just get assigned a roommate. The other options what most people do is um, you get put into a Facebook group once you're accepted for all of the accepted students and everyone just kind of posts a bio of themselves. And so after that, people start following each other on Instagram, Snapchat, all those things. And you kind of get to know people. And that's how I found my roommate. Um, we started talking over Instagram. We kind of hit it off really well. And we knew that we would be a good like match for being roommates. The third option you have is you fill out um, like a little questionnaire on our housing application and it matches with someone. So really there are a lot of options and most people get satisfied with their roommates. Most people do know who they're gonna room with, room with. Um, but yeah, there's a few options there. And then um, either one of you guys just talk a little bit maybe about what your freshman year coursework looks like. Um, one thing I'll just say too is that um, because we're all sciences, uh, you know, sometimes students aren't exactly sure what they want to major in, but they know they want to be majoring something in the science field. So a lot of our majors do have that overlap. Um, so it's kind of easier to, you know, switch your major. Um, I would say, you know, most times in most places will say, you know, to make sure you're locked into that program, at least by the sophomore year. So that way you're really not, um, you know, switching around too much and missing some specific courses you'll need for your major. Um, but there is a lot of overlap in the freshman year courses. So Debbie or Sabrina, do you want to talk about what you're, you know, what you took your freshman year, what you're currently taking, and then um, Sabrina, what you're taking this year? Sure. So my freshman year, I'm a biomedical sciences me um, major, as I mentioned. Um, my major sciences that I took were biology and chemistry. Um, I also took calculus, um, statistics, communication, some other courses in there. Um, this year, I am taking organic chemistry and physics along with um, my multiple disciplinary courses, which is kind of like a liberal arts. Um, so yeah, those are my major courses right now. Um, regardless of what major you are, there's a lot of overlap, as Christine said, which is really nice. So I know I'm getting the basic foundations that I need. Yeah, so I'm a first year right now. So my classes, um, I'm one of the only majors that doesn't have to take chemistry at the moment. Um, so I don't take chemistry, but most first years do. Um, but other than that, I do, I do take general biology. I take pre-calculus. Um, every freshman takes a seminar class. Um, so I have that. I also have honors orientation um, and sociology. So just the basic courses for first years. All right, so we're coming to the end of our time here. Um, we have five more minutes left. So if you have any last minute questions, feel free to put them in the Q&A or if you wanna chat with us, maybe more specific one-on-one -on -one questions, um, feel free to text your admission counselor. Um, but my last question to both Debbie and Sabrina are going to be um, just a tip, just a couple of tips that you would wanna to give to your high school senior self if you're applying to U Sciences again. Things to keep mindful of or just something to note so any tips you have for these new applicants? I think my biggest tip would be take a deep breath. It's all gonna be okay. Um, I know I was so stressed out. I was like, I don't know where I wanna go. I don't know what I wanna do. I'm so stressed about what's gonna happen, but really it all works out. Um, don't stress yourself out too much. It's really gonna be okay. And you're gonna end up where you're supposed to end up. 
Yeah, I think um, Debbie really hit the nail on the head with that one. Like, don't sweat the small stuff. It'll work out the way it's supposed to. I know my senior year, I put so much pressure on myself to figure out like my whole life in like two months. Like, you do not have to do that. No, if you're coming to use sciences, you have a basis for your future if you know you want to head in that direction. So don't sweat the small stuff and it'll all work out the way it's supposed to. Awesome. Thanks, guys, for those good pieces of advice. Uh, again, thank you so much for joining our e science session. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your mission counselor, or you can just email the main admissions email, which is admit, A-D-M-I-T, at usciences.edu. But thank you so much for joining. Okay, so just some quick housekeeping things. You will have a short survey once we log off for you to fill out. Remember that this is going on all week. So New Jersey, uh, try that again, New Jersey ACAC and Strives again. Welcome you to sign on for more sessions. There will be more college panels and to check out the recordings. Thank you all for your coming, your time. I'd like to thank our presenters for sharing their time. I definitely learned a lot about University of Sciences. I am a high school counselor in New Jersey. So I have a couple students buzzing in my brain and I hope everyone has a great evening. Thank you all.